Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a brand new inventory unit. This is a three-horse Cimarron North Star. Um, it's a 2023 model. This is a three-horse bumper pull. Um, we've got some really cool features on here. Something you look at a bumper pull and you say, oh, they're all the same. But we'll talk about some of the differences that's going to really set this Cimarron apart from all these other trailers you're going to look at. Start right here at your front tack. As you can see, it's a bigger than standard front tack door. Typically on a horse trailer, you're going to see like a 32 or a 36 inch door. This is a 42 inch door with a swing out saddle rack. The reason we do that extra large door is as you can see with that saddle rack still swung out, even with your saddles on there, you're still going to be able to get by them, get into your tack room and access whatever you need without having to, you know, get your saddles out of the way, get your tack out of the way and try to squeeze through that smaller door. So we like doing these bigger doors on this trailer. Um, the swing out saddle rack is going to run on a gas piston. So once you get your big heavy saddles on here and start pushing it in, that piston is going to really help pull those saddles back in. In the same way when you pull that out, it's really going to help pull your big heavy saddles out. On this door, because we did do a 42 inch door, it allows us to do these swing out blanket bars. Any smaller of a door, we'd have to mount those blanket bars inside that tack room, which is going to take up some of your storage space. So that's another benefit of doing that bigger door on this Cimarron is you do get to use these four tier swing out saddle or blanket poles. We do have your door organizer behind that. Cool thing about it is your blankets are really going to push up flush against this door when you're using it. Um, so your blankets aren't really going to move around. It's kind of kind of secure your stuff in this as well so it's not rattling while you're traveling. The thing I like about it is it's easily removable with these little twist clips. If you want to move this stuff from your tack room back into your trailer or vice versa, it's really easy to remove and then mount this somewhere else. If you want to take your tack, for example, from your barn to your trailer or your trailer to your barn. Up inside this tack room, over here in your corner, we have your spare tire mounted in your corner of this tack room. It is a matching wheel to the rest of the wheels on this trailer. So if you have a blowout or a flat, you can be confident that you're going to have a, you know, a nice quality wheel with a matching tire. Partition wall of this trailer, it is carpeted where we're going to be hanging our bridle hooks and our uh, you know, conchos, stuff like that. We like to carpet behind there, for one, to keep the noise down so stuff's not rubbing on this wall and being real loud for your horses. For two, it's really going to protect your bridles from getting scratched up, and it's also going to protect the paint on this trailer from getting scratched up as your bridles and bits roll back and forth on this wall. Over here in the corner, we do have a 25-gallon quarter water tank. I can't stress it enough how important it is to take water with you everywhere you go. If you can't find a spigot that's on at a, you know, a gas station or a fairgrounds or something like that, you'll always have your water with you. Some horses are pretty picky and like to drink their home water too. I know I have a few horses that you can ride them all day long and even if you go to water them, they're not going to drink unless they're familiar with the water. So this really lets you take your home water with you and it's really um, efficient to do it that way. Then above me as I walk out of this door we do have a upgraded LED light in this trailer. This is going to be the same matching light. I'll show you guys a little bit up closer here when we get in the back of the trailer. Moving down our hip side of this trailer, it is three oversized sliding pipe windows. So again, you're going to be able to unlock this from the inside and you can operate it from the inside or outside as far as how you want them to open, how much airflow you want for your horses. Or on a super cold day, you can completely close them up and keep your horses nice and warm in there. Above that, we do have a 16 inch LED awning light. Again, kind of situated a little more towards that tack room to be able not to only give you light while you're pulling your tack out of that tack room, but to give you light right here while you're saddling, checking on your horses, feeding whatever you may be doing. Down low on this trailer, we do have two, two 5,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Um, these are those matching aluminum wheels to that wheel I showed you guys inside on that spare. I'll point out these are green capped and what that means is these are nitrogen filled tires. With the nitrogen filled tires, it really helps the PSI not from fluctuating in these tires. It's really gonna help you guys prevent blowouts, prevent flats. It's really going to keep you guys jumping in and out from jumping in and out of your truck, having to put air to tires or take air off, you know, if you get a really cold morning and a really warm afternoon. As we look at the load side of this trailer, it is kick matted on both of your rear doors. So again, if you have a horse that likes to kick, likes to lean up against these doors, the kick mat's going to really protect your horse, but it's also going to really protect this trailer as well. You're not going to have to worry about your sheets getting dinged up if you have a horse that likes to lean. Underneath these rubber mats in your load area, it is Cimarron's four inch centered aluminum floor. This is the strongest floor you can get in any horse trailer brand today. Um, they build it on four inch centers no matter where your horses stand and they're gonna be standing directly over support beam. Some trailers will do you know, 10, 12, 16 inch centers, but Cimarron does build the strongest floor on the market. So you can be confident your horses are gonna be safe for years to come. 
As we step up in the load side of this trailer, we do have your solid type padded dividers. These do run on a spring system, so when you aren't using them, the spring will kind of hold them over here against that wall out of your way. Same thing on your front divider. You're going to have a full stud divider that is padded. Again, same spring on this divider. We can put latches over here if you do need them to fit really snug up against this wall. If you are hauling UTVs, ATVs, stuff like that, we can easily put a latch to hold these snug against them walls. But the spring will kind of keep them open a little bit for you while you're loading your horses. You can see that same kick mat that we ran on those back walls. It's going to run about four, four and a half feet up all the way around this trailer, both on your hip wall and on your head wall. Again, keeping horses from pawing, keeping horses from kicking and actually tearing up at the trailer. They're going to be tearing up at that kick mat, which is going to keep this trailer, you know, usable for years to come. And it's a lot easier to replace kick mat than it is to replace panels on the trailer. In our roof system on this trailer, we will, we will have a two-way roof vent for each one of your three stalls. Again, easily operatable to either pull air into this trailer like that or to pull air out of this trailer. Really easy to move them if you want to pull some fresh air in over the backs of your horses or just help circulate some of that air through your big drop downs. You can easily open all these within 30 seconds and have that air manipulated how you need. Cool thing about this trailer is that with this stud wall, if you're only hauling two horses, it kind of gives you the ability to use this front stall as a storage area, a feed room, a hay room. You can stack hay all the way to the ceiling in here with the stud wall. It just makes it a lot easier to be able to haul stuff. You're not dirtying up your tack room, putting hay in there. If you're only hauling two horses, especially with that escape door, it makes it real easy to be able to use this as a storage area. Each one of your stalls will have two tie-out rings. I like that we do two in them, because for one, this is a non-manger trailer, so that gives you the ability that if you already have hay bags, you can tie your horse off to one D-ring, hang a hay bag from another. If you don't already have hay bags, though, or you don't like your hay nets, it's really easy. They already give you D rings set up to match their, you know, angled corner feed bags. You can easily snap them in here and have a deep canvas feed bag that your horse can't hang a foot in or something like that. So we give you guys lots of options in the stall area of this trailer. As we come out, you will have a full length butt strap that'll go across the back of this trailer. Again, that's just to keep your horses from leaning, putting too much pressure on those doors. If you do have a horse that likes to move around in this back stall. And then as we exit, something a little extra Cimarron does. If you have a horse that kind of offloads pretty crazy and likes to throw his head up, it is padded up here just to help avoid your, your horse maybe hitting his head on there. Or if he does hit his head, it is cushioned. He's not just hitting straight metal. Up high, we do have another six inch awning load light. Again, giving you and your animals enough light to be able to see what you're doing when you're loading and offloading. Help avoid an accident, just to make everything go smooth. Moving around to the head side of this trailer, first thing you'll see are these oversized extra large Cimarron drop windows. I think they're probably the biggest drop windows on any trailer you can find today. The way they operate, you can run them up like so. They do have a sliding type inside them, so if it's maybe a little colder but you still want a little airflow, you can easily operate that sliding type window. It starts warming up, you can easily drop them. They're made to run down the road open like this, and you can see just how much air you'll be getting through there. It is gel barred to help kind of keep your horse from sticking their head out help keep road debris from going in there. Thing I also like about it, that with it being 610 wide, you're gonna get this full length running board. It makes it really easy to be able to climb up on this running board. You can drop your jail bars and easily be able to check on your horses, tie and untie your horses before you offload. And then again, if you are running feed bags, you can easily feed them from the outside of this trailer. Once again, above me, another 16 inch load light. Again, if you are tying off on this off side of that tack room, you are gonna have enough light to do so, whether it be you're tying out for the night and you need to check on your horses while they're eating, or if you are saddling off this off side. Here's the outside view of that escape door. Again, you can see kind of how easy it would be. You can keep your horses loaded in the back. You can easily come in here, grab hay, grab grain, maybe grab some slickers if you got them in here. Um, it's kind of a really cool setup. It does have a chest bar again, kind of the same purpose as that butt strap in the back. You can use this chest bar. It kind of keeps your horse from leaning too much on this escape door. But this escape door is double latched with both a hand latch and an outside paddle latch. You shouldn't have to worry about that door popping up while you're traveling. The real cool thing is on these bars, the old style you had to unclip them. If you had a horse that liked to lean, it was kind of challenging to unclip them. But the way they do it now is it slips into kind of a ball and socket and you just lift and that jail bar will come out of the way. Same thing to go back in. You just drop it in that ball and socket hole and it's a really cool process. You're not having to unclip anything or fight a horse. That bar is short enough where it doesn't, it clears the floor so you're not having a horse hang a hawk on it or anything like that. 
Another cool thing I want to point out is one, it's really awesome that we do have an escape door on a bumper pull trailer. You don't see a lot of bumper pulls with a full escape door like we do on this trailer. But the cool thing is you actually get a drop window in it. Most trailers, if you do have an escape door, it's going to be a smaller door with like just a little sliding type that's in the middle of this drop down. Cimarron gives you an actual drop down. Granted, it's not the big size like those because this is a smaller door, but you still get the option to drop that window, get that airflow for the horses. You can drop those gel bars as well if you are feeding in that stall. Just giving you guys plenty of options and you know usability on this trailer. Moving up to the front of this trailer, pretty standard stuff. You're going to have your three inch tongue sticking out of this trailer. You're going to have your standard manual jack, your safety chains, your breakaway cable, and then your seven pin cable. It's everything you really need. Um, thing I want to point out is on this trailer, you do get a lion's head warranty on this trailer. So that's one year, no questions asked on your tires, two years of roadside assistance, and then a five year uh, warranty on the tires themselves for any like manufacturer defects. defects. Your wheels are going to have a lifetime warranty, so if you get a cracked wheel or anything like that, Lion's Head will cover them. So that's a great product that we have on these trailers. Um, it's really going to be useful down the road, and you know, three, four years down the road when you start having wheel and tire problems. If you do, you can be safe knowing that you are covered. So if you are interested in this trailer, the stock number for this trailer is 5N211787. Again, it's a 23 Cimarron Northstar three horse bumper pull. We also have a silver or a charcoal one sitting here that's pretty much a mirror image of this trailer. So if white's maybe not your color and you want something silver or kind of a charcoal color, we have one of those. We also have plenty more of these on order. Or if you wanted to custom build your own trailer and set it up exactly how you want it, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest and Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.